So what we want to do now is take a look at conditionals. These links at the top, we only want these to be displayed if the user is logged in. If they're not logged in, they, they shouldn't have access to any of this. Now we're not doing anything with security right now. All we're doing is either showing or hiding something based on whether or not the user is actually logged in. So let's go take a look at what we're going to do. Now in the nav component, we'll update this to not only provide a login method, but we'll also provide a method to log out as well. And please bear with me on this because once again, this is not how we're going to be dealing with this log term. This is just to demonstrate conditionals. And all we're going to do when a user logs out is simply set this property to false. And what we'll do is we'll use this property inside our nav component to decide whether or not to display those links. So let's head over to our nav component HTML. And inside here, we've got our UL, which contains all of our links. So we only want to show these if a user is actually logged in. So what we can do is use the structural directive called ngif, and then we could set this equal to logged in. And if we go and take a look at our browser, then we can see our links have disappeared. Now, we didn't give our logged in property an initial value. But an initial value for a Boolean, if we don't set it, it's always going to start off as false. A Boolean value's default value is false, whereas an object's value, its default value would be null. But a Boolean doesn't have a null, it's either false or it's true. There is the only two things it can possibly be, so we don't see our nav links in here. But if we log in as Bob with password, and then we see our links, they, they appear. But what we'll also do is after a user's logged in is we'll remove the form and we'll swap it for a, a drop down where they can choose from links that are available for when they are logged in. So we'll head back to our nav component. And what we'll do just above our form, we'll just create a bit of space in here. We'll add another div and we'll give it a class of drop down. The functionality for this won't work by the way, because we're going to need to use the Angular bootstrap to actually do this. But then we'll give it a class and we'll say a dot drop down toggle. And we'll give it another class of text dash light. And inside here, or inside the a tag, we'll just say welcome user. And then below the a tag, we'll add another div. And this one give, will give a class of drop down dash menu. And then we'll add some drop down items. And these are going to be a tags again. So we'll give this a class of drop down dash item. And we'll remove the href tag. We'll deal with what's inside this later when it comes to routing. But for now, we're just going to say edit profile. And then we're just going to copy this one down and we'll say that this one is going to be our logout link. And what we'll do is we'll give this a click event and we'll set this to our logout method. But we won't actually be able to see this until we've enabled the drop down functionality. So what we'll do just temporarily is we'll just copy one of these nav links and we'll specify logout on there. And we'll also give this the click event and set this equal to our logout method. Just temporary because we won't be able to get to this until we've added the functionality. Now, what we also want to do is hide or show the drop down depending on whether or not the user's logged in. If the user's not logged in, then we want to show the form. If they are logged in, then we want to show the drop down. So, what we'll do, and we can use our little Angular snippets for this, we can say a dash ng if and once again we can say logged in and for the form what we want to do is use a dash ng if and we'll use the not operator which is an exclamation mark and we'll say logged in now because this is a structural directive the form is not going to be hidden when we're not logged in it's just not going to exist at all if we did want to just hide something, then we wouldn't use ng if, we would actually use hidden and set this to not logged in. But because we don't need to display the form if the user is logged in, 
we might as well remove it completely from the DOM. And that's what the NGIF directive achieves for us. So if we go and take a look and we reset our login status, so I'm just going to log in again as Bob. And what we find is that Chrome complains about the weakness of my password, first of all, which is annoying. Even though I've used a complex password, Chrome is still annoyingly complaining. So I'm just going to ignore that. And we've got our welcome user. And if we log out, then we go back to our form. And we can log in and Chrome complains and we can log out. Great. But obviously there's a couple of problems here. Chrome is annoying. That's one problem. And if I refresh my page, well, I lose my status of being logged in. All of this we're going to deal with. So don't worry if there's things that I haven't covered at this stage. What we're going to take a look at next though is adding the functionality to display the drop down menu. And we'll take a look at that next.